All right, so how about some potentially last minute news for you tonight? I have all the ARB figures for the Yankees. Let's talk about it. All right, gang, so I've been posting stuff all day today, and um, I have all the ARB figures, and it's been coming out little by little. I mean, first, we have Juan Soto, and then a little bit ago, we saw Gleber Torres, and we saw Victor Gonzalez this morning, but I have all the figures now, and I'm going to put them up for you. And I have two other pieces of news to you, so this might not be last minute. It might not be, this might not be the last news of the night. If you haven't heard, I'll give you the two pieces of news first, okay? News number one, they have an offer out to Blake Snell. And apparently it's between $30 million and $32.5 million per year. So it'll be between $150 million and $162.5 per season, which is a more than fair offer for Blake Snell. But apparently they're looking for seven years. I think the compromise point is going to be six years. I don't think anybody's going to give him seven years, to be honest. But he has got two years, two sign awards under his belt. So um, I do think a six-year, probably $180 million or right around there, will get it done. And I do think the Yankees have to do that if they want to get him. I think the, the the Giants might make a desperation attempt to get him at a six-year deal, but we don't know. And they got Robbie Ray now. They might not. So, But I think the Yankees want to seal the deal with him. It's got to be six years and probably $180 million. So, And Hal's already green-lighted this. But now, the other piece of news I have you, this is just recent, about five minutes ago, John Heyman reporting says the Yankees are also making progress on a Marcus Stroman deal. So. I personally can't see them adding Stroman and Snell. I would be adding probably $50 million to the payroll. Um, I think it's a bit of insanity. They've also signed Luke Weaver earlier today, okay, on a $2 million deal, too, for also rotation depth. So we really know there's a lot of stuff going on now. That I, I don't know how accurate the Heyman reporting is and Andy Martino reporting is, but here are the ARB figures, and this is from Bob Nightingale. These are confirmed, too, as well. I'm going to put them on the screen. Juan Soto settled at $31.5 million. Labor Torres settled at $14.2 million. Alex Verdugo, $8.7 million. Clay Holmes, $6 million. Trent Grisham, $5.5 million. Nestor Cortes, $3.95 million. Jose Trevino, $2.73 million. Jonathan Loisega, $2.5 million. Clark Schmidt, $2.025 million. Vincent Gonzalez, $860,000. So those are the ARB figures for all 10 players that were scheduled to get ARB money. So, and I want to also break Shohei Otani's all time $30 million per season arbitration figure. He's the new arbitration king, Juan Soto. So, congratulations to him and all the rest of the guys. Now, there's still a couple other things, okay? With the Luke Weaver signing earlier today, the Yankees roster is at now at 41 at, at a 40. So, there will be some more roster moves coming, whether it be DFAs, trades. And if they somehow get Blake Snell uh, and Marcus Stroman, I think it would be crazy. But I mean, I, I now I, I mean Luke Weaver. I don't see the need for Marcus Stroman. But if you want to bring that attitude back to in, into New York, which has been sorely lacking, he might be the guy to get. But remember, he's also had a hip injury recently too. So I don't know. I really don't know. So we'll see if it's a team friendly deal. I have no idea. And. We don't know what kind of baggage he's going to be bringing with him, too. So he's already posted himself with a Yankee uniform on his on his social media tonight. So <laughs> things might get crazy. So if you're not subbed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now and hit that notification button, too. That way when stuff comes out, you'll be at the front of the line and get it. And this type of stuff, it's going to – now that the arbitration numbers have been settled across the board, expect a lot of news over the next couple of days. DFAs, trades, Yankees, other teams, and so on and so forth. Because now everybody knows what type of money they have to play with. And the Yankees came in a little bit under $2 million under their projected figure of 287 But with the $2 million Luke Weaver signing, which could add incentives to next year, um, they're a little over 287 right now. So whatever they do in addition to that, if they add a Stroman, if they add a Snell, that's an add onto the payroll. So at this point. So anything additional, it's going to be additional. So that's what I have for you right now. Okay, so those are the, all the ARB numbers. That's the latest on the Blake Snell signing. And again, honestly, I said this earlier, I will take a six-year deal for Blake Snell over 12 years for Yoshinobu Yamamoto any day of the week. Two-time signing award winner for $30 million a year versus a guy for 12 years who's never thrown a pitch in majors for $27 million a year. Yeah, I'll take that.
I will. So let me know what your thoughts are. Load up the comments. Let's get into it. So, and all the art figures and <laughs> the Marcus Stroman and Santa And actually, before I leave, I will uh, check this right now. Oh, wait a second. Hold on a second. This can't be right. Hold on one second. There's a tweet from Mike Mayer. I don't know who Mike Mayer is. I'm going to double check on MLBTradeRumors.com. Ah, so MLBTradeRumors.com does confirm the Yankees are making progress. Uh, and this is John Heyman reporting. Making progress on a deal with Marcus Stroman. So there is a, there's corroborating reporting now. Uh, so this might happen, but I don't know who Mike Mayer is. Um, but he said he just he just tweeted that the Yankees have just signed Marcus Stroman. I don't know. This is why I'm doing it live, so you can be part of this live. Let me check Mike Mayer here. Okay, I don't know who in the world Mike Mayer is. <laughs> don't know. Don't know. So I I I don't know what if there's any teeth to this, but if if this happens to be true, you'll get a video on that too. So, which is why I say to subscribe to the channel because I want you to have every bit of news. So, this might be a crazy night. It was a crazy day. The next couple of days are going to be even crazier. So, stay tuned, gang. Talk to you next time.